Hello. Welcome to Sky Sea Channel. The channel that always discusses anything about the sea. In this video, we will talk about three of the most epic large container ship disasters that cost billions of dollars in damages and losses. These are the One Apis, 2020, the MSC Napoli, 2017, and the Ever Given, 2021. But before we get into that, do you know what container ships are and why they are so important? Container ships are large vessels that carry thousands of standardized metal boxes called containers. These containers can hold all kinds of goods, from clothes and electronics to cars and food. Container ships are essential for global trade and economy as they transport about 90% of the world's cargo across oceans and seas. Without them, we would not have access to many of the products we use every day. However, container ships are also vulnerable to various risks and challenges at sea, such as storms, pirates, accidents, mechanical failures or human errors. Sometimes, these risks can lead to catastrophic disasters that have huge consequences for the environment, society and commerce. In this video, we will look at three examples of such disasters that happened in recent years. Number 1. One Apis, 2020. The first disaster we will talk about is the One Apis incident that occurred on November 30, 2020. The One Apis is a Japanese-owned container ship that was sailing from China to California with more than 14,000 containers on board. As it was crossing the Pacific Ocean, it encountered a violent storm that caused huge waves and strong winds. The storm made the ship roll heavily, which resulted in more than 1,800 containers falling overboard, some of which contained hazardous materials such as fireworks, batteries and chemicals. The ship had to divert to Japan for inspection and recovery operations, which took several months to complete. The One Apis incident was one of the worst container ship accidents in history as it lost more containers than any other ship in a single event. The estimated cost of the incident was around $200 million, which included the value of the lost cargo, the damage to the ship and its equipment, and the expenses for the salvage and cleanup operations. The incident also affected many businesses and consumers who were expecting their shipments to arrive on time for the holiday season. Did you know that losing 1,800 containers is equivalent to losing about 45 million kilograms of cargo? That's like losing 9 Eiffel Towers or 600 blue whales. Number 2, MSC Napoli, 2017. The second disaster we will talk about is the MSC Napoli incident that occurred on January 18, 2017. The MSC Napoli was a British flagged container ship that was sailing from Belgium to Portugal with more than 2,300 containers on board. As it was passing through the English Channel, it suffered a structural failure that caused its hull to crack and water to flood its engine room. The crew realized that they could not control or save the ship, so they decided to abandon it and call for help. The ship was towed to the coast of Devon in southwest England, where it was intentionally beached to prevent it from sinking. However, this did not stop the disaster from unfolding. The ship broke apart and spilled hundreds of containers and thousands of tons of oil into the sea. This caused environmental damage to the marine life and coastal habitats in the area. It also attracted thousands of people who came to loot some of the containers that washed ashore. Some of them contained valuable items such as motorcycles, wine bottles or perfume boxes. Others contained dangerous items such as car batteries or explosives. 
The salvage operation for the MSC Napoli took more than a year and cost over $120 million. It involved removing all the containers from the ship and from the sea, cutting the ship into pieces and transporting them to a scrapyard, and cleaning up the oil and debris from the water and the beach. The operation was one of the most complex and challenging in maritime history, as it faced many technical, legal and logistical difficulties. Did you know that looting shipwrecks is illegal in most countries? It is considered a form of theft or vandalism, and it can also be dangerous or harmful to the environment. Number 3. Ever Given, 2021 The third and most recent disaster we will talk about is the Ever Given incident that occurred on March 23, 2021. The Ever Given is a Taiwanese-operated container ship that was sailing from China to the Netherlands with more than 18,000 containers on board. As it was passing through the Suez Canal, one of the most important trade routes in the world, it ran aground due to strong winds and poor visibility. The ship got stuck diagonally across the canal, blocking all traffic in both directions. The ship was stuck for six days, causing a massive traffic jam of hundreds of vessels and disrupting global supply chains. The Ever Given incident had a huge impact on global trade and economy, as it affected about 12% of the world's trade volume and caused an estimated $10 billion in losses per day. The incident also affected many industries and sectors that rely on timely deliveries of goods, such as oil, gas, agriculture, manufacturing or retail. The incident also raised questions about the security and efficiency of the Suez Canal, as well as the risks and challenges of using large container ships. The ship was eventually freed by a combination of dredging, tugboats and high tides, but not before becoming a viral sensation on social media. Many people made jokes, memes or artworks about the incident, using hashtags such as hashtag Suez Crisis or hashtag Evergiven. Some people also expressed admiration or sympathy for the crew or the rescuers who worked hard to solve the problem. Did you know that the Ever Given is one of the largest container ships in the world? It is 400 meters long and 59 meters wide, which is equivalent to four football fields or 20 buses. It can carry up to 20,000 containers, which is enough to fill 70 trains or 10,000 trucks. According to an economic expert, the Ever Given incident exposed the vulnerability and interdependence of global trade and economy, as it showed how one single event can affect millions of people and businesses around the world. He said, the incident revealed how much we rely on container ships and the Suez Canal for our global trade and economy. It also showed how fragile and complex our global supply chains are and how easily they can be disrupted or delayed by natural or human factors. It was a wake-up call for us to rethink and improve our global trade and economy systems. He also said that the incident could have some positive effects, such as encouraging more innovation, diversification and resilience in global trade and economy. These are just some of the examples of how large container ships can cause huge disasters at sea. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos about the sea. Also, let us know in the comments what you think about these disasters or if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics. Thank you for watching and see you next time.